If you are visiting Arches National Park in 2024, there's a good chance that you will need an extra reservation to enter this park. So today I wanna to talk all about how to get one of these reservations, who needs one, and the nitty gritty details of the Arches Reservation System. My name is Ash, I'm a former park ranger and the founder of Dirt In My Shoes. I'm also a Utah native, so I have visited Arches National Park many, many times. And in fact, I've used this entrance reservation system probably about six times in the last three to four years that they've been running this. And so I'm very familiar with it. I actually really like this reservation system. It works really well. But today I want to talk to you about what you need to know if you're planning on going to Arches in 2024. Let's jump in. So basically what you're doing with the Arches Timed Entry Reservation is you're reserving a time to go into Arches National Park. Um, this park has just gotten really busy. It's quite small and so there's just not enough room for all the people who want to go in. And so they've implemented this reservation system where you will show at the entrance station, you'll show them your pass and um, they will let you in during a certain time, um, during certain times of year. And so if you'll be visiting Arches National Park between April 1st and October 31st, 2024, then you will need one of these entrance reservations. Basically what you'll do is you'll get online and you'll reserve a specific time frame. These are in one hour increments starting from 7 a.m. until 4 p.m. And so if you wanna visit the park between April 1st and October 31st, uh, between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. during those days, then you will need one of these entrance reservations and you'll select a time window that you'll come into the park and you do need to enter the park during that time slot that you reserve. But once you do that, you can come and go all day as you want. You'll just show them your entrance reservation again every time you go through, but you do need to go in during that initial time frame that you reserve. And it's also worth noting that you do also need to purchase an entrance pass, an entrance, you need to pay your entrance fee to get into the park. So those are the traditional entrance fees that uh, most parks make you pay as you go in through the entrance station. So you'll pay your entrance fee when you get to the entrance station, but you'll also need to show this timed entry reservation at the same time. And the timed entry reservation can only be made online. And so that's what I'm going to walk you through today is the one that you have to do online, you have to do before you get there, or they will turn you away at the entrance station. So let me show you my screen. This is the Arches National Park official site. And on here you can see the dates when you will need to make these timed entry reservations when you can get these tickets. You'll do this on recreation.gov three months in advance and they do it on monthly blocks. And so if you're hoping to visit the park in July, you'll see any of these dates in July, then you will need to be online on April 1st at 8 a.m. So you'll want to make note of the date, make sure you put it in your calendar. If you're not online right at this time, then you probably will not get the reservation you need. They go very quickly, and so you'll just wanna make sure that you know when to be online so that you can get these reservations. I'm gonna walk you through this process here in a minute, but I do want to also note that there are some specific things that you can do if you don't want to reserve one of these timed entry reservations that will also count towards your entrance to the park. And so there are a few things that if you make reservations somewhere else within the park, uh, then that will count towards your entrance reservation. So you will see that here again, I'm on the official NPS site for Arches. But right down here, you'll see that there are a few things that you can do instead of getting one of these timed entry tickets. And that includes if you have a campground reservation at the Devil's Garden Campground, it has to be that campground because that's the only campground in the park. And so it needs to be the Devil's Garden Campground. You can get backcountry permits if you wanna go backcountry camping. You can get fiery furnace tickets. So either a fiery furnace 
permit to explore it on your own or a ranger guided tour. And then there's a couple others here, special use permits, concession contracts, like if you take a guided tour through Arches, um, there's some companies in Moab that are authorized to um, take tours or take people on tours in Arches National Park. And so um, something like that would also count towards your timed entry reservation. And so if you are camping in the park, then you don't have to worry about this. If you're doing the fiery furnace, then you don't have to worry about this. But that is only for the days that you have reserved. So if you're only doing the fiery furnace for one day, but you want to be in the park for three days, then you'll need two of these timed entry reservations for the other two days. And then the fiery furnace permit would count towards one of the days. So um, it is a little bit complicated. It can be, but again, Arches is a really small national park, so there's only a few ways to get out of the timed entry reservation. Uh, most people will just need to go through this process. And then remember, you'll also still need to pay your entrance fee when you get to the park. So it's a two-part thing to get into the park. And uh, now I want to show you my screen and show you the process for actually getting your reservation. Okay, so I'm here at recreation.gov, which is the website we'll use. Make sure that you're logged in. If you've never used recreation.gov before, then you'll need to make an account, and you'll want to do that before the actual day where you need to get your timed entry. So I'm going to put in Arches right here, and you'll see Arches National Park will pop up, as well as if you see the timed entry, that's the one we want, so you can go straight there. But I'm going to show you how to go just from the Arches page. So we'll pull up the Arches page and then you'll scroll down and you'll find the Arches National Park timed entry, which is what we want. Okay, and that brings us into where we're going to get these timed entry tickets. As you can see in this picture, so this is the Arches entrance station and this is the line to get in. And before they did these reservations, this line would go all the way out here and spill out onto the highway and it was just a big mess. It was really unsafe. I mean, if the line was all the way out here, you're waiting like an hour to an hour and a half to get into the park. And so actually this timed entry program has been awesome. I've used it a bunch of times. I actually just really love this timed entry system because the park feels much less busy. It's my favorite timed entry system in the park service. So let's show you how to get those entrance reservations. So come down here and you'll see it says one day personal vehicle timed entry. So this is what we need. It's only for one day. So if you're planning on being in the park for more than one day, then you will need to get multiples of these. And I'll show you how to do that. But it is the one day personal vehicle timed entry that we're looking for. Now, if you come in here and you click on the date and you go to the date that you're hoping to get, you'll see for today when I'm doing this, all of April is open, but nothing beyond that. And all of these say NR, which just means they haven't been released yet. But when you hover over the dates, it will tell you when that release time is. So next release, January 2nd, 2024 at 8 a.m. That's why I'm here. This is the date that I'm here. And so all of these are going to open up at 8 a.m., which is just in a couple of minutes. So you might get in here, depending on when you're trying to get this reservation, you might get in here and see a mixture between the NRs or unavailable or available. But if it says available, that means that date has been released and they haven't all been snatched up yet, so you can do that. If it says NR, then that means that you can hover over it and it will tell you when that one will be released. So you can put that date on your calendar and be here when that's going to be released. Or it will just say unavailable. It will be like these ones where there's just nothing you can do. Those ones either don't need a timed entry for that day or everything's been snatched up and they haven't yet set it to the next release. And so sometimes it will be all grayed out, but then later you'll come in and everything will look like this again. And then you'll hover over it and it will tell you when to come back and when to try to get those tickets. So you'll definitely want to pay attention to those dates. That's one of the biggest things that you can do to get ready for this. Also, you'll go in and for quantity, you'll see you have a personal vehicle or a motorcycle. Quantity can only be one for this, and you only need one of these timed entries per vehicle. So you don't need to get multiples per person or anything like that. It's just per vehicle. So 
Okay, so it has switched over to eight o'clock, which is when these are supposed to release. The calendar didn't show, but I clicked on a date and now they're all available. So let's pick a day. Let's do April 25th and you'll see all the different times that you can choose from. I'm going to put personal vehicle for this and then I'm going to choose a time, just whatever time works best for you. You do need to enter the park during this time frame. And so make sure you pick something that's going to work for you and that's going to work with the schedule that you have set. And then I'm gonna hit request. Your goal really is to hit the request tickets as quickly as possible. I was explaining things so I took a minute, but really you wanna have this all figured out. You wanna know what dates and times you're going for so that you can hurry and put it in and hit request as close to 8 a.m. mountain time when these open up as possible. So I'm just going to go through this, make sure everything looks okay. Yes, I also need a site pass. I'm not going to do that here. I don't think that you should do it here. <laughs> you should just do it when you get to the entrance station. That's like your entrance fee. So you need to pay an entrance fee in addition to this reservation. So make sure you read through all of this. This is some really important information that you'll definitely want to know. I have read through that and so I'm going to proceed to cart. Okay, and then I'm just double checking this, making sure it's the date I want and the time I want, everything. If you're only staying for one day in Arches and you only need one of these, then you can proceed to payment. But I'm gonna show you how to go back in and get another one in case you're staying for another day. So let's go to continue shopping. It's gonna spit me back out to the main page here. And I want the Arches National Park timed entry. And then you're just going to go through this process all over again. So my last one I got for April 25th. Let's do April 26th this time. And I'm going to go earlier. Request. And then you're going to go through this all over again. Yes, I understand I need that. Yes, I've read through that and proceed to cart. Okay, so then now you can see that I have... A uh, time for April 25th. I also have a time for April 26th. And that's all I'm going to do today. If you have another day in the park, then you can go back to continue shopping and do this all again. These are for the whole vehicle. So you only need one per day for your entire vehicle. Whoever's name is on the pass needs to be in the vehicle. So make sure the person who is getting these tickets will be in the vehicle and they will check this with an ID. So they're very particular about this. You just wanna make sure that if your name is on the reservation, then you're going to be there. Okay, and then you'll see it's $2 per reservation. So I'm paying $4 for these. You'll also see up here in the corner that this timer is counting down. This is the amount of time that you have to finish paying for these before they're released back out into the open. So at this point, everything looks good and I'm going to proceed to payment. And then this is where you'll put in your payment info and you'll finish up the process. Now, when you finish this up, you'll get a receipt in your email inbox and you'll also get another email with the actual timed entry on it. It's a QR code and that's what you need to take to the Arches entrance. So I like to print these out just so that I know that I have a hard copy in case anything happens to my phone. But if you don't print it out, make sure that you like do a screenshot or something like that. Make sure it will work without the internet because you can't always get the internet in Arches. So that's what you'll wanna bring. You'll wanna bring the actual vehicle timed entry, not just the receipt. You need the one that has your name and the QR code and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and release these back out because I don't need these, but hopefully that was helpful to walk you through the process of getting one of these reservations. All right, so we got the timed entry reservations that we needed. I hope that seeing the process on my screen uh, really helped out. A couple of other things. So if you don't get the timed entry reservation that you want, if you um, didn't get the advanced ones like I did today, um, there are a couple of ways around this so that you can still get into Arches National Park. The first one being that you can go through this process again the day before you wanna enter the park. So they will release some more timed entrance reservations the night before you wanna enter the park at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. 
So if you're not able to get what you need further in advance, you can go online, go back on recreation.gov, go through that whole process I just walked you through at 7 p.m. the night before you wanna go into the park. And those typically go really, really fast, so you do need to be there right at 7 p.m. trying to get these, but I've had really good luck doing it that way as well, and so hopefully you'll be able to get what you need the night before. If you're still not able to get what you need the night before, then you can enter the park before 7 a.m. or after 4 p.m. when they stop checking for these timed entry tickets. So that's another option as well. If you're not able to reserve anything in advance, you can go into the park early or go a little bit later in the day and work around that time frame where they're requiring those entrance reservations. I personally love doing this. I love Arches at Sunrise. It is probably one of my favorite parks to be in at sunrise when all the arches turn a beautiful golden color. Sunset also is just gorgeous. And so if you can adjust your plans and go in either really early or later in the afternoon after four o'clock, then you can still get in and explore this national park. If you need any additional help planning your trip to Arches, I have a ton of free resources on dirtinmyshoes.com that will help you really know what to do and when to go, things like that, where to stay. All of that is on Dirt In My Shoes. If you need extra help, if you want me to tell you what schedule I would follow, uh, what times I would reserve your time to entry reservation for, stuff like that, then you'll wanna check out my Arches itinerary where I will walk you through hour by hour what I would do in this national park to really make the most of your time, to avoid the crowds, and to make sure you see the best sights. I am so excited for you to visit Arches National Park. I hope you're able to get the reservations that you need and that you have a magical time in this beautiful, beautiful place. Happy trails. Thank you.